welcome to the chatty bookworm and i hope you guys are having a good day and i'll be back to tell you what the video is about so stay tuned hi everybody as you can tell by my little title at the it after the i did the intro sorry my phone got stuck um but this is gonna be my tbr for round 15 of Tome Tapo that say I'm from Thoughts on Tomes. Thoughts on Tomes, I think that's her channel name. Is the host of, and she has a whole bunch of co hosts. And yeah, um, it starts tomorrow and it goes to the end of the month. So yeah. Um, now, technically, um, the one for one of these isn't. One of the tomes is um, one with the most pages. Technically, the first one I'm going to talk about has the most pages. But I started it, but even after I started it, it still has a lot of pages. But I'm going to use that as something different since I already started it. I'm not going back and starting from the very beginning. So, let's get to it. The first one is a tome that is a movie adaption. And that is The Count of Monte Cristo. I'm not going to try to say the author's last name. Well, I could try it. Alexander... Dumbest, dimmest, something like that. And he gets um, put in jail for something he doesn't do. And then he gets out, he escapes, and he wants to get revenge. And like I said, I still have way over 500 pages to go. So I'm not starting over, and over. But technically, this would be the biggest tome. But like I said, since I started it, we're not going to count it as the biggest tome. The next one is uh, that you read in a pro that you started in a prior round. I started the Well of Ascension, the second one in the Final Empire, um, and the series is called Mistborn. So I started that before and put it down. So we'll just start over again, and I'm gonna be buddy reading this with my friend Drew. So some of these are going to be priority. Like, this is definitely a priority. This one ain't so much a priority. If I don't finish it, I don't finish it. But I want to at least read some more out of it for during Tome Topple. The next one is a book from a series that you haven't read from in a while, I believe. Make sure. Yeah. Tome in a series you haven't read in a while. I'm going to read this one. Sorry about the dogs barking. But I'm going to be reading this one because me and Drew want to buddy read the rest of the series together. And he is on book four. So I want to finish book three in the Keeper of Lost series cities. So I'm going to pick this back up and read it. Plus, I was supposed to read these a while ago because my friend Erica picked a whole bunch of books out for me to read. And I was supposed to read this whole series and I haven't done it yet. I haven't even touched it. That's what happens when you're a mood reader. So, yeah, so this will be for that one, a book that you haven't read, a, ser a book in a series that you haven't read from in a while. Then we have a book in a genre that you usually don't read, I believe. Yes. But for that one, I hardly ever read nonfiction, and I have not read, I hardly ever read true crime stories. So I got Helter Skelter, the true story of the Manson murders which I'm super excited about. Let me put these. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so far those, um, the second and the third one are the ones that are like the prior priority. Let's see, the next one is just read a tome. I just wanted to pick one out for each, just, just, just two, I know I'm not going to. So for that one, for just a tome, I just picked Cre Credence by Penelope Douglas. All I know about this is that this girl, her parents got killed and her dad's half-brother or stepbrother or something like that is, um, is like her ward or whatever you want to call it. And then he has two sons. I don't know if she's going to get involved with all three of them. Just one son, two sons. I don't know. I just know that it has says something about the the guy, the two sons. Yeah. 
Then we have a spooky tome. I guess this would be spooky. Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth with illustrations by Sarah Lotman. Lotman. All I know about this is that people keep getting killed at this um, school or around the school. Um, like there's these, these two girls are really obsessed with an author or something like that and something to do with bees, I think, or some kind of like, I think it's bees. They get stung by bees or something like that, and they die, and then you, um, the, I think the place gets closed or something like that. I'm not really sure, but I heard it's really good, and yeah, I'm hoping it's creepy. It sounds like it would be spooky. Then we have a sequel tome. I want to finally finish... The Heroes of Olympus. I wanted to start, I wanted to finish this last year and I just never did. So we are going to work on the Blood of Olympus, the last one in the series. Yay! I'm so excited to finally see how everything ends and to start some of his other ones and, you know. Let's see. Tome with the most pages. For that one, we're going to go with. Oh gosh, it's so heavy. <laughs> we're going to go with the. Uh, Empire of the Vampire by Jake Kristoff. I know he's very problematic author. And I already talked about that in another video. Yeah, so still, if anybody can um, let me know like what one of their charities that they would like to give, that you think I should give for, for, you know, I don't know, some kind of organization that I can give like because this was like $30, so I would like to do something like that. I already mentioned it in one of my other videos, but I'm going to mention it again. And all I know about this one is vampires, and it's supposed to be erotica and a lot of craziness is going to go down. I know the vampires in here are not sparkly. They're very, very violent, and they're very awful, and I know that there's no sun, so they can come out whenever they want. And it looks really interesting. I did start it, but I only got to page 56. And this book is over 700 pages, so I don't think it matters. And the last one is Tone by A, B-I-P-O-C. I always forget what the initials stand for. And for that one, we're going to do Uzumaki, Uzumaka. I forget how people said to do this, how you say this word, but yeah. And this could also work for the spooky one. I was going to use it for the spooky one. I'm like, hmm. No, I'm going to use it for the, for the B-I-P-O-C. I forget what the initials stand for. You guys, you guys know better than me. I just know it's like. Black, in, indigenous, something like that. So, yeah. So, those are the books. I'm really, really don't think I'm going to finish all these. The three that I'm really going to concentrate on is Empire of the Vampire, um, The Well of Ascension, and um, Keeper of Lost Cities. And also, me and Drew are also going to be buddy reading this one. So, we're buddy reading two books in this during Tome Topple. This one and The Well, well of Ascension. So, yay! So, that is my TBR. I know, like I said, I'm not going to get to half of these. If I can get three, like two red this week and two red next week, that would be awesome. But that is it. Let me know if you're participating in Tome Topple. If not, uh, yeah, if you are participating, let me know. And also let me know um, what some of the books you might be reading. And if you're not, let me know um, if you're participating in any other readathons or just what you're planning on reading for the next two weeks. I hope you guys like this video. You guys know the drill. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Follow me if you would like. Um, I'm also, like I said, on TikTok now, and it's the same as my name on here, which is, of course, the Chatty Bookworm. 
and I'm I'm way over I mean I made over a thousand on there now so woo one of my platforms went over a thousand <laughs> so that's why you guys haven't seen me much here because I've been a lot on TikTok since I'm growing over there and I could grow <laughs> so yeah um but yeah if you want you can follow me on TikTok and I will still be doing videos here I'm just not doing them as much but a lot of the books that I buy, you'll see when on TikTok because I haven't been doing a lot of book hauls. So yeah. And I hope you guys all do good. Have a great day, a great couple of weeks that's left in this month. And that you guys read some spooky books. And that you guys are having a good reading month. And like I said, give it a thumbs, I mean, follow if you like. And give it a thumbs up and hit that bell icon if you do follow for you'll know when a video like this is up for your viewing pleasures and until next time take care of each other love one another and be kind and i will catch you guys later Happy